This will blow that up. That one. There we go. Uh, yeah. I was hoping there would be uh, some loot or something. There wasn't, no. Okay, let's climb up. And what's through here? Ooh, what's this? Can you read it? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Ejim Staney. If this message from Avidari, what does it mean? Is something about the ring we found on his hand? Let's ask Blue. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. <laughs> so now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. <laughs> Ooh, can we zip line back over? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Ooh, this one's fast. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, is there anything else over here? Uh, it sounds like it. Yep. My axe. There it is. Uh, let's use this thing. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Uh, I love how visceral this is. It's so good. What do we get? I have 500 silver, some more. Scale fragments. How much gold do we have now? We're back up to uh, 10,000. <gasps> That's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be able to upgrade a few more pieces of equipment then. Sweet. Ooh, well, there's a lot of enemies in here. Ooh, let's try our shield blocking thing out. chest. I wonder if there are any side quest areas like this in the, the first area, like that entry place, because um, like, there was so much content in that area we didn't find. Well, there was that like hidden room, basically, that I didn't open, because I thought that there might be like another way through it or something, but there wasn't. So I guess most of the loot would probably be in there. Sweet. Well, let's talk to this dude now. What'd you find? Eh, he's kind of dead. You're an alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Yep. Naturally. Naturally, he <laughs> says. Miani for Uxie. What do we get? Grip of... Now take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Andari left a bit of magic inside for he croaked. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. That sounds Stuff kind of amazing. Ugh. Chance to gra grant protective barrier, preventing damage from any attacks on any successful axe. At any time I hit with an axe, I have the chance of this activating. Um... And it gives me more strength and defense. Does it give me luck, but it gives me more strength and defense? That sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, let's put that on. Uh, sweet. What's it gonna be this time? Okay, so now that that's all done, uh, what else can we upgrade? Uh, axe pommel? Can we upgrade it? Oh, we can upgrade it. Look at that. Uh, 
Uh, oh, and that takes the serpent scale fragments. Okay, okay. Talismans. Do the quiver. Go ahead and spend 5k on that. I think that'd be worthwhile. And then... I don't really want to get any other pommels, because my pommel's pretty amazing now. Um, I don't think I want to do any other talismans either. So maybe just upgrade it? Um, yeah. Two more strength, two, four more defense. Yeah, let's, let's upgrade this. I to keep them from bits off you. That's is already. That's already upgraded. That's already upgraded. Sure, why not? Let's upgrade this. Oh boy, more defense. you got some cleaving ahead of you. And talisman, we can't yet. Quiver? No, 25,000 gold or silver for that. 10,000 for this. What else? We've got about 2,000 left. I don't think there's anything else we can really buy. Enchantments. I guess we could use another enchantment. Uh, do runic, which increases damage with the runic abilities. Cooldown, vitality. I would say cool. Uh, let's do uh, luck. Yeah, let's do luck. So, uh, you. St and then armor, right? So we have a new socket here, and the luck one. When luck does what again? Uh, perk activates a chance, increases XP and silver gains. Yeah, let's do luck. That sounds fun. Sweet. We have 4,000 points of experience now for doing all of that stuff. That's amazing. Okay. So let's do something for the boy. Um... So we'll start with teamwork. Uh, we could do more rage combat, but I don't want to do that just yet. Press R1 after after a successful last second block to counter the attack of the powerful shield strike. Oh geez, it like throws them. Shield slam. Oh, that's cool. Blocking projectile at the last second absorbs the impact and redirects the pressure. Oh, back towards the attacker? Uh, I, I can, Oh, that costs 3,000, though. That's amazing. Guardian's Revenge. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any barehanded attack. Once in a new stance, press R1 to perform a powerful uppercut. Press R1 again. Slam. new stance what what's what does stance mean by like pulling out the shield or maybe the axe yeah you thought luck as well silent yeah shoulder barrage while sprinting barehanded press that to do a ram that's kind of awesome a haymaker okay so all of those are pretty great That looks cool. Precision throw combo. After landing a precision throw, which is weak points and headshots, press triangle during the flash to recall the life and ads and cause the next throw from the attack to explode. It's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, that's just how it's uh, permanent frost looks really good. 
I think I'm going to grab Permafrost, just because that's basically just a damage upgrade. Um, and then Frost Rush, because I really want... I don't have any, like, dashing attacks right now. So I think both of those would be good. Purchase this. Oops. Purchase this. And then... Where was the unarmed stuff at? Oh, he's down here, right? And let's purchase this. Digging around for grains of wisdom. Okay, so let's try some of those out. So, one of them was... That. So you run. <laughs> then if I don't have that in and I'm running, I do the haymaker. That looks pretty cool. And then, did I pick up the sweep? I think I picked up the sweep, too. So I got that. No, that's it. Okay. Cool. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait. Can the boy read this? Can you read it? Sir. Let's see. Uh, these runes read death inside. Fun. Fun. Okay. Plenty of death outside, too. <laughs> that's awesome. Alrighty. Okay, so we're gonna creep back out of here. We completed that quest. Um, we just need to find that other spirit. Where's that other spirit at? Okay, so... Goals? Goals. Unfinished business. One common pomple, one corrupted remnant? Ooh, look at all the experience points we would get from doing this. That's cool. I feel like 1,800 experience points from doing, from finishing off this uh, spirit quest. Come. Yeah, and that entire section with that fight, with all of this, was extra. Finding the. <laughs> The shop here. Yeah. We could have just gone back to all of it. This game really rewards exploration. It's kind of awesome. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Uh, we need to go around to find that. Shop. So this is where we're supposed to go, I guess. Okay. I don't want to go there just yet. Show a slight question to do. Lake of the Nine. Here we go. Yeah. We could beach the boat here. Hidden, another hidden area discovered. There's the breezer. <laughs> Nothing gonna try to come up and attack me? Oh, this thing's gonna get up, isn't it? That's a giant. I think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. I think we're going to fight they this can. giant. Oh, no, something else. It's this thing.
Can't block red. Got it. Can't block red. Got it. Part lizard, part cat, a lizard cat, or cat lizard or something. Either way, the combination is pretty weird. They like to burrow underground to close the distance between them and their prey. Their claws and teeth are extremely sharp, but it's that poisonous barb on their tail that we really need to watch out for. Mm. That's... that's something. You break that... Okay, so do you actually need me to do anything for you, or are you going to be happy What's just up? from... I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, Spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure. Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. Okay. You are learning. Why didn't you or mom ever tell me about the desolation? Oh, we finished I it? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? Then yeah. why are we exploring all these islands? The resources the we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. <laughs> and help. Okay. Uh, goals. Because we have a new favor, right? No. A apparently, we don't care about finding his body. Maybe we already did that earlier, and so it auto-completed? Either way, we have another 2,800 experience points. Jeez. Uh, what's this? Yeah, that's nice. What's this? While evading, hold L forward and press R1 to perform a quick axe attack. Um... I'm just going to finish upgrading the boy. Fatics. Damage. Uh, can do some more rage combat. Press L1 to do a quick stomp that damages and disrupts all nearby enemies. Haymakers. Could be cool. Sure, why not? And axe. This one. Yeah, I mean, we have the experience points for it, so why not, right? Okay. Um, we completed all the favors around here. So that's good, right? I mean, I think we did all the favors. Somewhere to boat, dock. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. What do we get? Some more silver. Is there a way up right here? What was the purpose of this then? Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. I don't see anything to do right here. I'm not sure what the purpose of that little area is then. Put another dog. Ooh, and another little runic chest. Sweet. Enemies? Yeah. Oh, axe, please. Part of the map or the transcript hey, cipher? It's another treasure map. Treasure map, okay. We haven't even looked at the treasure maps. Artifacts, treasure maps. Here we go. Dead and bloated. The troll who killed my king is slain, but the battle has taken its toll. I buried whatever left near its course. Ingen and I used to frequent the speech and watch the size runner of the temple. Oh, we were just there. Okay, well, we should probably go back there then. And figure out what treasure that is. Hunter's Kingdom. Ruler of man and beast, I came to this kingdom to learn if he had obtained the ingredients to forge the armor of legend. All I found was sorrow and death. I leave this offering in memory of those who suffered in the Dwarf Queen's quest for glory. Hmm. A broken head. Next to some kind of doors, maybe? Maybe it was the entrance to the sh to the Dwarven Mines? Maybe. Okay, we should definitely go back and do that after we do this. Um, okay, so first let's break this down. Because there's usually something in it. Hack silver. And if we hit this... What happens? It lowers. Did I do it? Hey, there you go. First try. First try. Hype. There it is. What do we get? Apple. Another apple. There it is. We already got two more. Wow. Okay. Um, here, can we go ahead and... That's right, silent. Oh, you... Cannot wait to get those emotes back in, though. And then, okay, let's grab this real quick. Ah, more of those. Good. Ship heads. That's the artifact here. Okay. Okay, so there does seem to be another way around to this side, though. Uh, looks like we can go this way. Hmm. Can I climb this? No, looks there's that rock there. So how do I get across, I wonder? There was some kind of different, like, explosive thing right there that we could use to break that open. I guess not, though. Maybe we have to come from the other direction. Okay, let's return to that dead troll that we found earlier. Um, and apparently that's part of a treasure map. So let's head back over there, which was... here? If I remember correctly? Yeah. Apparently there's like some kind of treasure buried near this, yeah, troll, or this giant. Boom. Oblivion stone, legendary, a stone that hungers for energy and absorbs it on contact. 
coveted and hoarded by dwarves, used to upgrade pommels with life-draining damage effects found in treasure map caches. Wow. We got a lot of stuff from that. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Can we make the boy get up there now? Got some good stuff right now, guys. Where is he heading? Is he heading over here? Oh, he is heading over here. Okay, cool. And let's climb up. Ooh. Oh, it's another one of these things with the mask. He uses his mother's dagger for that. I wonder if that's important. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Okay. Well, we now have two out of four <laughs> ciphers. There we go. Five out of the fifty-one. Yeah, we got another one of these. So two more, I guess. Now silent. So. One more for the collection. Another abandoned ship thing. Uh, the stream's going really well, games. Thanks for stopping by, man. How are you doing? We are and really enjoying God of War. Just started it today. Yeah, I, I try to uh, stop by there when I can. Um, he's kind of awesome. He was the first person to ever raid me. Um, so because of that, uh, I don't know. It's just really cool that he that he raided me that one that the very first time. So. I like to support him and, and go in his chat when I can. And he's a pretty cool guy, just in general. And his his streams are pretty chill, which I like. But uh, thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate you uh, popping in and saying hi. We're just playing some God of War. Probably going to be online for about another 30 minutes or so. 30 minutes to an hour. So... I appreciate that, man. Uh, God of War is super good. Um, playing, we're probably about five hours in, five and a half hours in so far. Um, it's, it's good. I'm just playing a normal difficulty. Ooh, that's another Raven we're gonna get. Um, and the combat. Oh, the combat's so good, and the exploration, and the music. Honestly, the game's just so good. Um, honestly, I really love the exploration and how the game rewards you for exploring. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, yeah, there's things you can find, but... Like, they send you on treasure maps. And that's pretty cool. Have you played God of War before? Games? Okay, so right now I'm doing a, a little treasure map. Uh, I came back over here looking for this broken statue next to some kind of Dorvan architecture. So I know there's actually a Dorvan mine we went through over here. I don't remember seeing anything like that. But Ooh. honestly, I wasn't really looking. So I wanted to pop back over here to see if anything happened. But there's also a shop here. So even if... What I wanted to get isn't here. I can still probably upgrade my stuff and sell a few things. So the trip isn't wasted. No, but the game the game is good so far. So far, I would highly recommend it from what I've played so far. No. I thought there was a, that that broken head statue like right here. But No, it's not. Well, let's let's run through here real quick. We'll see if we find it cuz this was a pretty big area. 
We'll take a quick gander. I've already cleared this area. So I guess this will be a good chance to find out if monsters respawn. Just looking for a 